The hot air balloons are found in the lighter than air vehicles unit. Students learn about density, buoyancy, and a brief history of aerostats. The kits come with packs of tissue paper, glue sticks, tape, paper clips, scissors, and a popcorn popper that'll be used as a launcher. To speed up the template making process, I spend a little time reviewing how to read a ruler before we start. I set up a few stations around the room and students rotate through while measuring random objects to an eighth of an inch. Students will mark and label every three inches going down the side of the paper. For each of those markings, they will measure in from the edge and mark the distance indicated on the design brief. If a few of the measurements are slightly off, their design will still work and their hot air balloon will still fly. If you want to grade them on their measurements though, you can have them cut it out and then lay it on top of your template and see if it fits. Students will need six sheets of tissue paper to complete their hot air balloon. I would suggest having them pick three different colors and getting two pieces of each color. Students will attach the template on the folded sheets of tissue paper using paper clips. I have them check with me before cutting. The flat side of the template needs to be placed on the side with only folds and no open edges. Set aside a sheet of your scraps to use as the top of the balloon. Sheet 2 will be glued down the edge of sheet 1. Then you'll roll that out of the way and glue sheet 3 over to sheet 2 and keep alternating until you get through all the layers. Start gluing from the center and work towards the edges to keep the sheets lined up. Once you get down to the final layer, you'll tuck the middle layers in so you can glue the top sheet to the bottom sheet. You'll cut a circle out of a scrap piece of tissue paper to use as a top and pieces of construction paper for the mouth. The mouth keeps the balloon from ripping when you place it on the launcher and it provides enough weight to keep it from flipping over when it's launched. To prep the popcorn popper, all you have to do is remove the three screws and take the top off. The balloons are pretty durable, but can rip if they're snatched out of the air. I only allow my students to catch their own balloons. Students will experiment with adding different payloads. They can use anything for this, but I would suggest paper clips. They're easy to attach and only add a little weight at a time. Washers work well too if you really want to put your balloon to the test. 